Hello, intermediate salsa dancers. This week, I have Lydia again. Hey. And we're gonna be working on the back spot turn with a few different exits from it. Let's, let's show you what those look like really quick. So we've got our back spot turn, which we did last week. If you don't know that one, you need to go back and look at it. Um, at the end of that, we were just going forward. Let's show that again. So open break, back spot turn, and forward. That's what you should know. We were working on doing an open break at the end of that. So we go back to here to go back into a back spot turn. Endless back spot turns. So that was one thing. I'm kind of dizzy now. Uh, the other one was, again, a continuous back spot turn. But I'm going to go forward with her and then turn my hips around to go again rather than doing the open break. We then did back spot to the second back spot where Olivia spins around. And then we did back spot turn to second division throw out. That's what we have sore, so stay tuned. Whew. I'm dizzy. So dizzy. <laughs> As intermediate salsa dancers, you should have this back spot turn, you should have cross by the, you should know what an open break is. We're just gonna put that into a different concoction here to have a continuous, I was gonna say cross by the, <laughs> a continuous back spot turn. So we do our open break to get into our regular back spot turn. Here's the interesting part here. So I have to do an open break again. I could choose to go into a back spot turn by completely separating, but I think it's a little nicer, a little fancier if we stay connected. All I have to do is relax my right arm and my left arm to let Lydia back out, and then I shoot back into frame here. So I'll show that again. Open break to relax and then back into frame. As simple as that and as complex as that. I mean, it is a little dizzying. Totally. There's a lot happening there. Lots of swirling. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else to note for that one. Nope. The second one we did is actually really tricky because we do back spot turn and I go into a, a forward break with her here. Actually, it's not a break because we're staying connected, but I'm going forward. Now, at this point, I have to very aggressively turn my hips to the side this way to give Lydia the signal that I'm going into a back spot turn. So we go from here. I've got to make sure I go around the circle right away energetically in order to go with her. In class, uh, people were struggling with this a little bit because they were going from here and they weren't turning very much. Mm. So I'm trying to actually do like a 90, 90 degree rotation though, at minimum. Yeah. So it goes quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And there we have that one. Do you have yes. any pointers there for that follows? That one's super important that I try to stay square to Matthew. Yeah. If I just kind of zone out and let myself just go forward, I will smash into him. Yeah. And since we're talking about smashing into people, on the second one here, people in class are also doing this, Ooh. going straight forward rather than turning their shoulders. Yeah. This is, as I said in the first video for the back spot turn, it's led from the right side, so I have to make sure I'm taking my right side away from the follow. So it's quick, quick, slow, and there we have that. The spin that we did is really cool. Yeah. And it's really easy. It's kind of amazing. All I have to do is go into a back spot turn, and I have this fake frame over here. I'm not really connecting to Lydia. And I just let go of her and continue my back spot turn. I don't even have to do much with my left hand and she spins. So if we go back spot turn, fake frame, she spins off, bam. So if we do that from our continuous back spot turn, it looks something like this. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Notice on that second one, I'm not doing a full 360, I'm actually just doing a 180. A couple of other pointers that are kind of just uh, went over very quickly. For the lead, we don't want to get back into a serious frame here. I'm just re relaxing my arm. It looks like we're in frame, but we shouldn't feel like we're in frame. As I go to the back part of the back spot turn here with this leg lock, I let go of the right arm and just put the left arm up over her head and she should finish the spin. Some leaders were doing this. Whoa. Which is completely unnecessary. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I, I was telling them that you can, you can put energy into that, but the energy means that you're doing multiple spins. You would want to go for a few spins if you're going to do any energy with the left arm. Yeah. If it just goes up, it kind of pins you to that spot and she'll spin around. For sure. Uh, follower is super important in that moment to keep your arm in this sort of 90 degree angle. Um, if Matthew were to do that and give me more energy or any kind of thing like that, and I don't, it's easy to let it kind of get over here or to start to spin myself. I want to make sure my shoulder is maintaining that shape kind of throughout that whole spin moment. You know, um, a pointer that has helped some people is the, the you know, following the, pardon me, following the elbow around. Hmm. 
So if, if Lydia follows her elbow around the turn, she'll keep that consistency. If she doesn't do that, she just turns her body, she'll turn herself into. Exactly. That's kind of a fancy move. It was a fancy move. Yeah. It meant something. Things up. The final thing we have here from the back spot turn is extremely difficult. Because we have lower body going one way, upper body going the opposite way, the follower is going backwards, we're going the opposite direction, it's chaos. That just looks beautiful and it's fun. So if we do two back spot turns, go into our second one here. At this point, I'm going to steady my lower body. I'm going to not move my lower body anymore, and I continue my upper body back. And notice what happens. Lydia ends up perpendicular to me. So that is the first thing you should practice here. Back spot turn. I stop about 90 degrees short of where I want to be. I continue my upper body that 90 degrees as Lydia goes back. Get the upper body down first before you try to do footwork. Footwork-wise, as Lydia goes back, I do a second position. So at this point, her weight is that way, my weight is this way, kind of like a cross by me, my weight is off of the right foot. Um, we're going to do a second position break, Lydia comes into me, we go back out to each other, and we are actually in the cross body lead position. The reason we don't lead cross body lead from that initial position is that we're not in the right place in the music. Yeah. So if we're going quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, here's my quick, quick, I need a slow, and then quick, quick, slow. Second position breaks, if you put your shoulders, your, your feet shoulder width apart and you just kind of go between both of your legs, that's really all we're doing here. Right. So we go quick, quick, slow. The strange thing is our orientation is off from one another. I'm open the entire time. Let's show that one more time from different angles. So we go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. I open up for quick, quick. I push her back on the slow into a cross body lead. Quick, quick, slow. In this one, it's going to be really important for our followers to just kind of let that last action happen. If I'm mm. now too dedicated to seeing square to Matthew, then um, we will no longer be doing this step, right? And I'm just going to stay here. So I have to let myself be sent backwards to trust that he's got another plan in mind when we're no longer uh, square to each other. Yeah. And when I send her, if I don't let go of her, I get pulled with her. Yes. Which doesn't work. So I have, when I send her here, I have to make sure I relax my mind. Yes. And then tighten it up again to get cross body with her. This is a really also a good moment to check in with your arms. One of the things that I find most challenging about salsa is kind of the flip-flopping between mm. being toned and being flexible. Uh, so this totally. is a really good exercise, especially after we do um, flipped open here. When we come into that first part, we're compressing into each other so that we can then send right back apart. And then two. Yeah. And you should be familiar with that because we should be doing that in open breaks and things like that. Sure. So, but, so maybe review. That about does it today. If you like what you saw here and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also make sure you like, comment, and hit that bell button down below to be notified next time you post. See you later.